Hello and welcome to step 6 of the step-by-step -step guide. In this video, we will learn how to bind the scenario step with Specflow. Note if you skip the previous step, make sure you execute the test with your preferred runner. The test explorer would show a skipped status. To bind the first scenario, open the calculator.feature file by double-clicking it in the solution explorer under Specflow calculator.specs, features, and then calculator.feature. The purpose of this feature file is to document the expected behavior of the calculator in a way that is both human-readable and suitable for test automation. Specflow uses Gherkin language where you can phrase the scenarios using given, when, and then steps. Currently, there is a single scenario automatically added by the Specflow project template that describes how adding two numbers should work with the calculator. Based on the scenario text, Specflow generates an automated test that executes the scenario. However, it is not yet defined what the steps of the scenario should actually do. To define the first step, which in this example is given the first number is 50, right-click the step from the feature file and select Go to Definition. Visual Studio will then locate the step definition, or binding, that belongs to this step. In this example, it opens the Calculator Step Definitions class and jumps to the given first number is method. Here, you will add two blocks of code. The first one is to instantiate the calculator that we want to test. And the second one is for the implementation of the first step definition method. Just like previous videos, you can find the codes in the video description and also on our step-by-step -step starter guide webpage. Next, navigate back to the test explorer, execute the test again, and click on open additional output for this result. Here you will see that the step, given first number is 50, has executed successfully. But we are yet to define the second step, and it has the pending status. In the next video, we will look at binding the rest of the scenario steps. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.